Pastor Ed here with Daily Devotions for Wednesday, February the 8th, 2023. Continuing our look at uh, the Gospel reading from Sunday, Matthew 7, 1 through 12. We talked about one verses 1 through 5 yesterday. Uh, the, Do not judge so that you may not be judged. And then you have verse 6, which is very interesting. Jesus says, Do not give what is holy to dogs. Do not throw your pearls before swine, or they will trample them underfoot and turn and maul you. A difficult verse, a difficult one to understand. And I spent a little bit of time online trying to see what other people said. I looked at some commentaries that really didn't, really wasn't helpful. Found a couple of things, and 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 there's one interpretation that seems to be kind of consistent across the board. Um, and to put it in the context of you know Jesus's instructions on not being judgmental. Um, But there's also, he seems to be in contrast to that, um, Jesus seems to be saying there are times when you're not supposed to be judgmental, but be uh, discerning. Um, And it seems to be that it's consistent with what he said elsewhere uh, in the Gospels, that if anyone will not welcome you or listen to your word, shake off the dust from your feet and leave that home uh, or town. So in other words, we are to, to share the gospel, but when it becomes apparent that the gospel is not welcome, we are to move on. We are to, responsible for sharing the good news, not responsible for the response of people to the good news. Um, you know, pigs don't appreciate pearls. Some people don't appreciate what God has done for them. Uh, our job is not to force conversions or cram the gospel down somebody's throat. Uh, there's no sense in, in preaching the value of pearls to swine. Um, Jesus' instruction to his apostles on how to handle rejection was simply to go elsewhere. There are other people who need to hear the gospel, and they are ready to hear it. And so, um, again, it's it's one of the strangest verses in the Bible, one of the strangest things that uh, Jesus ever um, said. Um, again, it seems to be talking about the dogs and pigs seem to be representing hostile, unworthy people. And so... Um, you know, don't preach the things of God to these hostile, unworthy people. Another way of looking at it is you have these holy things, such as the gospel, the message of the scriptures that you must give to others. Don't think, however, that you can give the, them to everyone. Some, again, are like the dogs and the swine. They're hostile, unworthy, so they don't give your pearls to them. But a fellow by the name of Ron Julian came across a slightly different way of looking at it. He said, this is the, how he would summarize there are these holy things that must be kept and treasured, and there are unholy things that get thrown away. So do not how treat the holy things as if they were unholy. Only a fool would treat what is holy and sacred as if it were common and profane. And so in his opinion, this verse is not so much about the dogs or the pigs. It's about the fool who would treat what is holy as worthless. Jesus isn't saying figure out who the hostile, unworthy people are and don't preach to them. Instead, he would argue, Jesus is saying don't take what is holy and precious and treat it as worthless. The verse is not about judging other people's values. The verse is about getting our own values straight. Likewise, there's, that's the significance of throwing pearls to swine. Pearls are beautiful. Pearls are valuable. They're meant to bring wealth and adornment to a person's life. So what kind of a foolish, perverse person would throw them to the pigs? Again, to do so is to say these are not valuable enough to keep. Maybe these pigs can find a use for them. Jesus is not saying, he says, figure out which people are like pigs and don't cast your pearls of wisdom before them. Rather, he is saying, don't be the kind of fool who throws away what is beautiful and precious. And so in his opinion, this verse fits right into the context of the Sermon on the Mount. Cling to the holy and precious things of God, his promises his commandments, value them above all else. Do not be like the Pharisees, uh, who Jesus contrasts with uh, hypocrites, uh, who do value the things of God by using them for worthless worldly goals. Do not throw meat that is holy to the dogs and instead keep it to be nourished. Keep it, be nourished by it. It is for you to give you life. Do not throw your pearls before swine. Instead, cling to the valuable and beautiful things of God They are your treasure. Don't throw them away. If you do not keep and treasure them, it 
perhaps will not turn out well for you in the end. Again, two possible ways of looking at it. Uh, it's tough to say. It's a difficult verse. Um, I kind of lean towards the other one, that to be able to understand what is holy and understand what is valuable um, and treasure them in your own life. It's more about who you are than who other people are. But by the same token, there is that sense that there are times when people are not ready to listen uh, to the gospel, and it's not our responsibility to keep going on and on and on and on. But as Jesus suggests elsewhere, you know, at that point, to uh, knock the, the sand off your sandals and move on to the next place. Whichever way you look at it, it's definitely food for thought and a, and, and a difficult verse. So we'll continue with uh, some more verses tomorrow as we continue to work through Matthew 7, 1 through 12. Until then, take care. Bye.